Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Erica with Miley Scraps. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. So you are going to see my hands flailing around because I thought that I would talk through the video as I was doing the page, but I quickly realized that I was going to run out of things to say. And second, that my family is not quiet. And so there was so much background noise that it just wasn't going to work. So just, just don't mind my hands flailing around. But here I'm showing you some products that I had actually uh, purchased at a scrapbook store in the town that my husband and I went to for the marriage retreat. And um, they, it is actual, it is an actual scrapbook store, excuse me, and it's not a Michael's, it's not, you know, a Joann's or, um, you know, one of your chain stores. It's just a, just a small scrapbook store that is full of scrapbooking, scrapbooking supplies. I mean, anything and everything from stamps to dyes to papers to just kits and all kinds of things, you know, handmade things from a Cricut and that type of thing. So that 12 by 12 sheet right there is one of the ones that I purchased. I, I purchased three and then also that thicker sticker sheet um, with the cursive words. And so I actually left there only spending about $20. So I was pretty proud of myself, but it's nice to go in there. It's a bit overwhelming because there's just so much to look at, but it is nice to go into a, a physical scrapbook store. So these pictures that I'm scrapbooking are from a marriage retreat that my husband and several of our friends from church got to go to. And we just got away for a couple of days over the weekend. It's The town is about two hours away and it's a tourist town. And we got to stay at a nice resort. And um, we just thoroughly enjoyed getting to spend time with each other because it, you guys probably all know that it's super hard when, you know, life just gets so crazy and busy. So it's nice to just get away every once in a while and spend time together and um, spend time with close friends. Uh, so these are just the starting of that trip. And um, I just decided to kind of take the colors from the pictures, you know, a lot of blues and, you know, we've got some teals and then I've added in some pink. And, um, you know, I just really love those colors. So I had a lot of fun getting this page done. So any of the products from my stash, if I'm able, I will try to freeze the frame so that you can see who the product is by. A lot of this is old stuff that I've just had in my stash. So uh, most of it's probably not available, but I do always try to freeze those frames for you just in case it is and you'd like to find it. Y'all, I don't know how long I've had these stickers, but it's been a long time. So I definitely dug some things out this evening that I have had in my stash for a while. So that's good. I'm definitely using stuff up. So tell me, are you guys when you do pocket scrapbooking, are you stuck to keeping it all color coordinated or theme based? Or do you just do each individual pocket as its own page? So I do both. Um, I, I probably tend to lean more towards the themed and color coordinated, but I was just curious what you guys do. So as I'm just scrapping away here, I thought I would tell you guys some exciting news, or at least I think it's exciting. I um, have always wanted a scrap rack, and I, I understand that they're super big and they take up a lot of space, um, but I was able to purchase one today, and I'm excited to give it a try. Um, I have a space on top of my um, cube storage that I'm planning on putting it, and I'm hoping, you know, how we're always all looking for different ways to keep ourselves organized so that, you know, because I scrapbook, mainly by theme or color. Um, and, and sometimes I don't, like I was saying before, but you know, the majority of the time it is by theme and color. So I'm excited to give the scrap rack a try and be able to really and, and truly see what I have in my stash.
So I recently just made my first purchase with Citrus Twist and I absolutely love their products in the amount of products that I got for the price. And I've got, uh, I just received today some products from Allie Edwards. So I'm actually just going back and buying some past kits or products in general, just to see which products I like and um, which ones that I would like to maybe purchase, you know, each see here's my son I tell you it's so hard to do voiceovers without somebody singing in the background anywho so here he comes again <laughs> so fast forward to the next day I um, am going to give this another try I told them before I came in here I'm like guys I'm gonna go try to finish up this voiceover and my husband was laughing he was telling my son hey son you made a debut on your mom's voiceover last night which we had already talked about it and we're laughing about it but that is most certainly you know what our what it's like to live in the Miley house because we are constantly breaking out in song and it just comes out so naturally but what I was trying to tell you was that I am actually just ordering some products or past kits or something from a few different companies companies and just trying to figure out which one I might want to subscribe to if they have a subscription or, um, you know, which one I might want to purchase from. And who knows, maybe I'll just purchase, you know, go, you know, do a different one each month. But um, I will try Studio Calco next. If you guys have a preference on a kit or a company that you go with, I would love to, to get some feedback or some advice on, you know, what's the best value for the money? You know, what's the best products? You know, any type of advice would be great. Let me know. I was telling my husband that it's funny what you notice after the fact when you're done with your page but for the next three pictures I put the word friends on there and um, so I think I, I might have overdone it a little with the word friends but I still like them and these people in these pictures are amazing friends and we are very very thankful to have them a part of our lives and a part of our tribe because they it definitely takes a village and they love us they love our kids and they you know pray for us, lift us up, encourage us, and we just couldn't be more blessed. The pictures that I'm scrapbooking now, as I was telling you, we went to the marriage retreat, but on our way, we stopped at a restaurant and it is a restaurant where it's just like, you know, homemade cooking. And they have a guy that walks around and he throws rolls across the, across the room and you catch them and you eat them. Um, but we, we went last year and we stopped here and we had a great time. And so we decided to do it again this year. And they just, they walk around with all of these different um, sides, like, um, you know, potatoes and onions and um, okra and different things like that to go along with your meal. So it's almost hard to, to eat your meal once you get it because you've had all of these um, pass arounds as they call them before they even bring your meal.
Well, guys, this video is just almost over. I wanted to thank you for coming by and watching. I hope that it has encouraged you to get crafty. Um, here is an up-close look of all the different cards. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments below uh, if you subscribe to a monthly kit or if you prefer one company over another and why. I would love to hear your feedback on that. But again, I do appreciate you coming by and watching, and I hope that you'll consider liking and subscribing. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.